everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is chloe and this is episode two of the baldwins if you haven't watched the first episode of this series make sure to do so last episode we found out that ruby has diabetes so she's been making some lifestyle changes so we're going to be going to the spice market a little bit later on today we are also going to be having a galentine's day celebration for our sisters and some of our girlfriends i believe we gained like 500 followers this stream which is great and it is almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon and we do need to prep for this galentine's day dinner slash <gasps> that really scared me why would they use that icon for this healthy habits from good diabetes management ruby is taking charge of her health and is determined to make good choices to minimize the impact of her diabetes i love that she's been doing a really great job i'm proud of her ruby's taking a quick bath before we head out but i wanted to show you all her closet they have made a little bit of progress. As you can see, there's not much on the floor anymore. I mean, the closet itself is still a mess, but overall, the room has cleared up a little bit. I finally finished the kitchen as well. Let's see what's on the menu for lunch today. We do need to get this cooking skill up. Let's do the fresh veggies with hummus plate this afternoon. I can't believe she's cooking with that bag. How are you feeling today, Ruby? She's feeling energized. Inspiring decor. I know that's right. A pleasing environment can put a sim in the mood. I was going to invite someone with us to the farmer's market, but I think that we can just go alone and do a little bit of vlogging. Okay, why does her mom have on a helmet? I don't understand why I'm always seeing that same bird fly through this house. We're going to head to the farmer's market. Let's post on Social Bunny before we go. I do want Ruby to be more active on social media because she's an influencer. Let's post about our new outfit. Chanel bag with the shoes to match. New outfit, new me. Check me out while I boot scoot around. This is where she keeps up with her family. Okay, we're gonna head out to the farmer's market before it gets too late. It's already 3 o'clock. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Ruby feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Yes, I feel like all of my sims like fitness. Anyway, we're about to head out. So we are here at the farmer's market in the spice district. Ruby is going to grab a few things because obviously we need some groceries. She gets pretty hungry quickly, so I would like for her to start keeping granola bars and fresh fruit on her. Ruby needs to update her social network profile two times and also get to know Sims in the spice market. Oh, she's over here speaking to this girl. Let's give her a hello introduction. Ezra met some friends at work. That's great. It's Fifi. She's like, hey, your mom told me about the spa day tomorrow. Do you want to ride with me? Ruby's like, yeah, we can ride together. We need to get to know her, right? Let's give her a pep talk. Ruby can now perform a smooth apology and a cheerful introduction on other sims. Love that for her. Chantel shows signs of the jester personality type. It's Fifi. I'm the parent of a newly adopted toddler, Ruby. I'm so excited, but also very nervous. If you have any spare time, would you want to come by? Did Fifi really adopt a baby? what's tea fifi we're supposed to be having a spa day tomorrow so we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this what is going on are these for sale we're putting it in our reusable bag honey we're being environmentally friendly too bad we live in the desert or else i would have had her start a garden I mean, I'm sure she can grow something, right? Ruby is definitely slacking a little bit with her work assignments, and I'm kind of scared. I definitely don't want to do any junk food. I really want her to be on this health kick. I think that'll be really good for her, and it'll be good for Ezra too. Let's do like 20 energy bars. Definitely need those for Ruby. 
Ooh, let's do the black dragon tea. We need a lot of water and I think that'll be it. What do we want to call this video? A day with Rue exploring the farmer's market in San Myshuno. Love that for her. Let's head home, Ruby. What is this? New toddler in town from a neighbor adopting a toddler. Ruby is filled with joy after learning that her friend chose to add a toddler to their family. Mom? Patrick and I have a little bun in the oven. I can't describe to you how excited I am to be having a baby. There is no way that our mom is bringing a baby into the world at her age. This is insane. And on top of that, Fifi just adopted a toddler. What is happening in this family right now? Are you, is this a joke? Am I on candid camera? We just made it home and someone has rung the doorbell. I wonder who it is. I'm just not ready for any more surprises today. I guess this is one of Ezra's friends. I know you're probably wondering why Ezra is dressed like this. He is supposed to be cooking for Galentine's Day today. So we're going to have him get on the ones and twos. Luca, Luca Sabat. I guess he has a friend here to keep him company, but we are going to make some food for the ladies. Let's get some alcohol going too. Let's see what we can get for them. I feel like they would do rosé. You can never go wrong with a glass of wine. So let's get that as well. And then I'm thinking that we can do some boxes of sweets. So let's do the pink heart for Galentine's Day. I don't know if there's an official color for Galentine's Day, but... Okay, once Ruby's done, we're gonna call the girls over. Thank you, Ezra, such a good husband. Love that for you, Ruby. She's gonna call the girls over. We're supposed to be having a cool day. Let's do, oh my God, who is this? Okay, what is going on? Oh, she's gonna give her a funny introduction. I don't think Ruby knows her. I feel like this girl might be with Luca. Oh, she thinks she's crazy. I'm screaming. This is insane. I guess we just need to be nice to her and, you know, be inviting, whatever. She's married to Tristan Mueller. I can't even put two and two together right now. I know she is not complaining about our decor. She's like, honey, do you know anything about design and decor? Okay, Ruby, let's, um... Let's plan this event. Okay, where is all the food? Oh, look at how Ezra set up the table. I love that. We do not need to be chit-chatting with Shayla Hancock right now. Let's change. Ruby's gonna change into her swimsuit. So we do need to chat with the girls for three hours, watch romance TV, ask someone about their day, and take a selfie. Okay, that girl is tripping out. Add to Simstagram. I don't know what we're gonna do, you guys. Ruby's really been slacking. I feel like she might end up quitting this job and just becoming an influencer full time. I guess she invited the girl from the farmer's market. Fifi's here. Hey, Fifi. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at Taylor. So these are some of what just happened. What happened to our light? Can we get the rosé going? Let's call the girls to grab a drink. Ladies, help yourselves. Hey, Fifi. Ezra's eating our food and he's supposed to be cooking. Ezra, really? Look at his cue. He has to make the wings. Go. Okay, so Ruby's... Okay, he is all in her face. Can you go play the game with Ezra? Okay, what is happening right now? This is Angie. Angie and Ruby work together. Okay, I guess we're doing well. Someone's at the door. Why is our mom here? We need to update our social media status twice before we like get fired from this job. Okay, ladies, I thought that we were gonna go in the pool, no? I think we need to do this from the computer instead of her phone. So let's update our social media status and then see what the girls are talking about. Why is our mom here? It's Valentine's Day. This is not the time for you to be telling us about your alleged 
pregnancy. What's up with mom? She's like, she didn't tell you? Okay, we did make a little money from work today. Mom looks really uncomfortable right now. Okay, mom, I, I've got to tend to the ladies. Thank you, Fifi, for helping me clean up. I really appreciate that. I thought the ladies would have gone in the pool, but I guess not. Oh, we need to watch a romance movie, don't we? She's leaving. She's like, this is not my crowd. Oh my god, Ezra, why are you cooking in the restroom? I'm embarrassed. I don't think we have enough space on the counter, actually. It was nice that Chantel came by. I didn't expect her to come, honestly. Um, especially since they just met each other at the farmer's market. But perhaps this could be a new friendship for her. Why not? Ruby's a really outgoing girl, so let's thank her for coming. Taylor, you look really cute. Get into this ring, honey. August did not play. Chantel seems like a cute girl. I'm honestly not mad. Um, ask about food. Like, what are you into? My husband makes really good wings. And let's get to know her as well. Ruby, what is up with you, honey? Are you okay, Ruby? She's getting a little tired. We also need to put away some of our groceries. Let's check our blood sugar level. Ruby's blood sugar is 55.48. Okay, I guess we're doing okay. I guess we made more food than we needed to. Is Ezra still cooking? Ezra, I don't think we need any more food. Since it's a girl's night and his friend is all in our business, let's play a game with whatever his name is. Ezra, you guys are not supposed to be here, please. Yeah, you guys go in there and play the game. Ezra, thank you for cooking for us, babe, but can you like go? Chantel's a little silly. She's cracking Fifi up. Our mom's leaving. I don't know why she was here anyway. Taylor's really something else, honey. We have a good reputation. I love that for her. Taylor just became good friends with Ruby and Ezra reached level two in video gaming. Ruby is getting a little tired. So we might need to call it a night soon. We're supposed to be having a spa day with mom, Beefy, and Taylor tomorrow. So we'll see how that turns out. We also have a dinner planned with Ezra. I also want to ask Fifi about this toddler that she adopted, but I don't think right now is the right time, especially since our friends are here. I mean, they're all on the phone right now, but why are we discussing work at our party? Ruby is really into work. I know things haven't really been the way that they usually are because, you know, she just got this recent diagnosis and she's still trying to figure out how to live with it but she does really enjoy working okay ladies thank you so much for coming next time bring your swimsuits bye taylor ezra you stink you need to get up she's like did you shower yet i really wanted the ladies to take this stuff with them but i guess they didn't want to we're gonna put all of this stuff away and then oh my god it's four o'clock in the morning oh my god look at ezra's needs i hope he's not diabetic also this is scary ezra are you okay Ezra's work performance is excellent. He does need to reach level 4 in Charisma and level 2 in Logic. I believe we purchased a book for him last time, so we definitely need to start reading that. And we also need to try to get him a promotion. Ruby's blood sugar is really high and she's hungover. I honestly don't think that we should be drinking. I guess we're just going to have to do mocktails from now on. Are you kidding me, Ruby? 
Oh gosh, I don't know what today is going to hold since she is dazed. I don't know how long she's going to be dazed. Let's check our blood sugar. Oh, we can inject insulin. Injecting insulin helps to regulate and lower blood sugar. Each injection lasts for 12 hours, can only be taken every 12 hours, and can be taken by clicking on the healthcare menu under the sim. Okay, we're going to inject the insulin and then we're going to check our blood sugar afterwards to see if it helped. Her blood sugar is 100. High blood sugar is 75 and over. Ruby, this is not good, girl. This is not good at all. We were supposed to go to the spa with mom and Taylor and Fifi today, but I don't even know if we're going to make it. She's not feeling well. Ruby really needs to rest. Let's schedule a one-time maid. We had some company over yesterday and we could definitely use a little bit of help. Ezra is literally late for work right now. Oh my god, Ezra. Is he taking the day off or what? Okay, Ruby, he needs to go to work, honey. He is late. Ezra. Look at Ezra. He's like, do you want to? She's like, Ezra, you have to work. Okay, Ruby. Ruby's exhausted, you guys. Let's get in the bed because these catnaps are not cutting it. I don't know if we're going to make the spa, but Ruby needs to put her health first. Okay, our maid is here and she looks hungover, but I'm not going to judge her. What is her name? Tamika Fulton. Thank you, Miss Tamika. I really appreciate it. We have dinner reservations with Ezra this evening. I don't know if Ruby doesn't wake up soon. Who is at our door? Oh, it's our dad. Let's invite our dad in. Let's sit and chat here. She's like, Dad, do you want any wings? We have some leftovers. He's like, I can eat. All right, let's get these out for Dad and let's call him to the meal. I don't know what's going to happen with this job, Ruby. I think we're going to have to get rid of it. I don't even think we're going to make the spa. She's really exhausted. She's really exhausted, and I think it's because of her blood sugar. Hey, Ruby, I know you're tired, sis, but let's text mom. Let's do a chatty family call and let them know that you're not feeling well and that you might not make it. I feel really bad, but like, it's Valentine's Day. Why would they plan a spa day on Valentine's Day? I need to get my rest for tonight. I'm a married woman. Okay, Ruby. Let's get dad's plate. Dad, Ezra will be home soon. So when do these expire? In an hour? Let's put these away. Okay, let's chat with dad. Is he leaving? Oh, he's coming to sit closer to us. Happy Valentine's Day, dad. I'm wondering if Ruby should bring up the baby thing. Her mom is a little dramatic and she does like attention, so I'm not even sure. Let's just gossip with him about it. You know, mom said that she's pregnant. Fifi adopted a baby, supposedly. What's really going on? Since you're not going to work and you're waiting for Ezra to come home, I think that we should probably get some work done. I forgot that she was tired. I guess we'll just get some rest. The Ruby's so used to overdoing it that she forgets to do a little bit of resting, and I hate that for her. Ezra's back home. He's going to get some rest. Our reservations are at 8. I guess we're both just going to do a little bit of sleeping. I forgot that Ruby gets hungry so quickly. Ruby, it's really bad today, you guys. It's really bad today. Who's calling Ezra? Unknown caller. Your psychic advisor suggests that you plan your meetings very carefully this month because you may have some unexpected news. Hang up. I'm so 
concerned about Ezra. He seems to be having the same symptoms as Ruby and I don't know if it's because he's craving coffee or if there's actually something wrong. Let's see if he's able to make a doctor's appointment. Okay, he's not. So perhaps it just has to do with him being addicted to coffee. Oh, her dad wanted to take us to the Spice Festival. I don't think we're going to have time. I'm sorry, Dad, I can't right now. I need to get some rest. Ruby is really exhausted, and as much as I really want her to get some work done, I don't think it's going to happen. This is how we're spending our Valentine's Day. Everything feels a bit dirty from being in a dirty area. Ezra can't touch anything around him without encountering a layer of dust. It's getting harder to ignore the buildup. Things are getting dusty, crusty, and musty. Even the air feels heavier with undesirable particles. It will be harder to cook or be productive in these surroundings, but non-fuzzy sims who prefer not to clean could certainly learn to get comfortable. After all, it could certainly be worse. Okay, I can literally see the dust flying around in this room. Ruby can definitely use the help. I don't care. Ruby definitely deserves the help. I think we need to start looking for an assistant. I really do. And we are going to miss our reservations if we do not wake up. This is crazy. Ruby, you're eating hot wings? We have dinner reservations. I forgot, you guys. We can't have her not eat. He's like, you're eating wings right now? We have reservations. She's like, you know I can't wait to eat, Ezra. He's like, we can just stay home and sleep if you want. She's like, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, not us staying home. Not us canceling our dinner reservations. Ezra, really? You're not slick. Ezra's not slick. I cannot, you guys. It's okay. We will have plenty of love days. She's tired, Ezra. Let's just... Just let her sleep, honey. She cannot even right now. Here, you go to sleep next to her. I feel so bad for Ruby. I really do. We're sleeping our entire Valentine's Day away. I can't believe they missed their dinner reservation. Ruby, it is so filthy in here. It looks like the vacuum is going to break. That's how dusty this floor is. Ruby definitely needs some help around the house, and she definitely needs some help with her work stuff as well. I really don't want her to slack, and right now, she's slacking. And she's tired again. Just sleep the night away, Ruby. Please do not wake up again unless you're going to get some work done. And Ezra, I think something's up with Ezra as well, you guys. I just don't know what it is. It's still Valentine's Day, and Ezra has not even asked Ruby for any Valentine's Day woohoo. It is what it is. Valentine's Day was awful. Uh -huh. Now Ezra's flirty. As Ezra has some feelings of tension and stress, he has other things on his mind. I was just saying how Ezra did not even ask Ruby for any Valentine's Day woohoo. And here he is, feeling flirty. Instead of playing the game, Ezra, maybe you should throw this away. It's filthy in here. You need to be a little bit more responsible. Do you need to vacuum in here as well? We need to check the dust level. The floor level is dusty. So I definitely think we're going to have this conversation about expanding the family with Ruby. Because this has been on his mind for a little while now. And... I don't know. Maybe it might be time for them to start considering having a baby. I was hoping that they would have a baby within the next year, but I feel like this baby might come sooner than later. Everyone around us is talking about baby this, baby that, and we're the only ones without a baby. And they don't feel left out, so don't think that they do. It's just... Ezra has baby fever more than anything right now, and Ruby is doing terrible. Oh my god, her blood sugar is 98.16. Let's just do our insulin. And then let's grab some water. Ruby, I'm a little worried about your job, honey. I am. While you have a little bit of energy, let's try to upload that vlog. 
I think we're slacking on our editing and everything else. We also need to get these groceries out of our inventory. So let's try. Oh my God. Ruby's a notable newcomer. I was not expecting this at all. The girls are really eating this up. I knew that Ruby having diabetes would not be a setback for her. I don't really want her to be famous, but obviously she's developed a following and I love that for her. Let's reply to our comments and then let's also get started on a pumped up vlog. That way we can say thank you to our supporters. Media production is everything. Ruby seems to have the ticket to success toward fame. Should she gain the likes media production preference? I'm going to say yes. You guys let me know in the comments if Ruby should quit her job and just become an influencer full time. She's already gained a little bit of fame from it, so that means the girls are starting to know her name. I think that it might be okay for her to quit her job at this point. I'm really happy for Ruby. This is another chit chat vlog. Ruby's really into her chit chat vlogs. Thank you for 1.5k subs. Notable newcomer Ruby has started down the path to stardom. Ruby, we are not having wine for breakfast, honey. She is hungry. She's got a little bit of work done. Maybe we can edit this video so that the girls can see it right away. I think we're going to visit Fiona this afternoon because she did invite us over to meet her new toddler. I don't know what the situation is or what's going on over there, but I definitely think that we need to find out. Ruby uploaded her video. We need to put all of this stuff inside of the refrigerator because I will forget and Ruby will be eating onions in her free time. So let's get rid of that. Okay, Ruby, she's having wings for breakfast. Just let her have it. Don't judge her. We have a ton of water, Ruby. That is great. Let's open this and hopefully it stays in her inventory because Ruby needs to keep water on her Ooh, uh -huh. let's clean this up and i think we're going to take another nap before we visit fiona and the new baby i want to get to the bottom of this because it's really random that fifi adopted a baby what is going on you didn't tell me that daddy was here lover's comfort from cuddling in bed she's just telling him that she's gonna go visit fifi she's like yeah i don't know there's like a bunch of stuff going on with my family right now and i haven't really heard from taylor so something tells me that there's something going on with her as well but i'm gonna head over to fifi's house i removed the jokesters dynamic from them to see what else it would give but obviously they still want to be jokesters so I guess I'll just say yes. And what's going on with her dad? Does this have to do with her mom saying that she was pregnant? Um, hey dad. Ugh, I hate drama. What happened, Chantel? Drama? I don't know that word. I don't know that word at all. Oh, who's at the door? Oh my god. It's her mom and she's pregnant. Her mom is full term. Mom, this is crazy. You're actually pregnant? Ask about pregnancy. Mom, what is going on? I, you're pregnant? She's like, yeah, I told you. Nice of you to ask. I'm in my first trimester. I am happy that I'm going to have a child. Pregnancy has its good days and its bad days, but overall, it's a beautiful experience. Her mom is exchanging name ideas with Ruby. Here comes Ezra. Ezra's like, hey, mom. Oh my god. This is crazy. Okay, mom, I was actually heading out to Fifi's. Her mom's like, yeah, we were headed that way as well. Okay, well, do you all want to ride together or... 
You know what? Just go. I'm not in the mood anyway. Okay, well, Ezra, oh my god, Ruby is exhausted. Can we check our blood sugar before we go? I guess not. Ruby's blood sugar is 19. Her blood sugar is low. Do we need to eat? We need to get this over with. Okay, well, mom, I think I'm going to head out. Like, I don't have all day. I cannot believe that her mom is pregnant. Woohoo approval. It's always nice to ask before woohooing, and the answer being yes makes it even better. Fun time. Wow. Okay, well, let's get this over with. It's Taylor. I am speechless. We literally just got to Fifi's house and Taylor just called us to say that she and August have a baby on the way. I knew there was something going on with Taylor because she was too quiet. Last episode, she did call Ruby to ask her if they should try for another baby and Ruby told them to decide for themselves. I knew they were going to do it anyway, but the fact that our mom and our sister are pregnant at the same time, I have no words. Now that there are all of these pregnancies and babies around us, I definitely think that this is going to make Ezra's baby fever even stronger. Hey, she's like, hey, we just got back from the park. Thank you for coming. Yeah, what is going on? She's like, yeah, uh, let me introduce you to, what is the baby's name? Mercedes Rhodes. Yeah, it's a long story. She's like, well, I have a little bit of time. And did you hear about Taylor? She's like, yeah, I heard about Taylor. Taylor called me. Oh, Ruby, she missed Fifi. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to the baby. And then I guess we'll ask Fifi how she got into this situation i guess fifi i know this is probably a little much but like are you thinking about dating or getting married or like how this is going to impact any of that i guess ruby is being supportive i would definitely say they have a supportive family dynamic fifi i'd never imagine this for you i I never imagined this for you. Do you need anything? I know Fifi was trying to date and we did say that she was single and ready to mingle, but at this point, I don't even know. We're definitely going to have to give little Mercedes a makeover too. Ruby, are you feeling okay? Do we need to take any insulin or are we good? Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad you love him, can't you? I'll visit you tomorrow, dad. We're definitely going to have to visit our parents this weekend. Okay, let's talk to little Mercedes. Let's brighten her day. I cannot believe that Fiona has a toddler. Let's play with her. We can't stay long, Fifi. I just wanted to see the baby. It's her mom. Ruby, do you have a moment to chat? I've got the wildest story to tell you. Her mom is always calling to gossip with her. I cannot believe this. Ruby's still thinking about getting some woohoo tonight. Oh, look at Ruby. Auntie Ru. I honestly feel like if Ruby were to go home and woohoo with Ezra, they would definitely get pregnant. I mean, everyone around us is getting pregnant. I'm not even going to jinx it. Oh, she likes Ruby. You like Auntie Ru. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, Ruby. That is too cute. Let's take a little picture of her so that we can show Ezra. I really cannot believe this. 
Oh, look at her. This is so cute. I cannot believe that Fifi's a mom. What is going on? Wow. Life is moving pretty quickly. She's like, I've got to go, but are you going to tell me about what happened? I love how supportive Ruby is being to Fifi. Let's actually see if we can give Fifi a little money just to help her out, you know? Not that she needs it, but, you know, we can give her a little something for our new niece. Okay, we're gonna give her a thousand dollars and she can use that to get whatever she needs for Mercedes. She's like, here, it's for Mercedes. She's like, thanks, Ruby. You're welcome, Fifi. If you ever need anything, just let me know. You know I got you. Oh. No, she didn't. Not reveal a deep secret, Ruby. What are you... Well, I've got to go. She's like, yeah, we'll talk about it later. These are her parents. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. Ruby's like, yeah, you can tell me about it a little bit later, but I've got to head out, so... Look at Ezra eating his energy bar. He said he's going to need his energy for tonight. I cannot. Ezra has been feeling cheerful lately. Things are going well and Ezra doesn't have a care in the world. Should he embrace the change? I'm going to say no. I don't really care for the cheerful treat. Ruby's in the bath, so uh, Ezra, go get your life. Okay, Ezra's feeling flirty. Where's Ruby? Here comes Ezra. What does he want? He's going to ask us what happened at Fifi's house. I'm weak. Ezra's coming to get the tea. He's like, so how did it go at Fifi's? It was okay. Let's show him the pictures of Mercedes. Aw, he's like, she's cute. I know, she's so adorable. He's like, there is something I want to talk to you about, Ruby. You know, I was thinking maybe we could start trying for a baby. She's like, yeah, I mean, I'd be all right with having a baby. I know we discussed having a baby within the next year or so, but what if we started trying now? Life's good, you know what I mean? Neither one of them are worried about anything right now, and I feel like we just need to ride that way for now. I don't think I'm going to have her embrace the change. It's not that big of a deal. Let's have him flirt with her because at this point, he's just trying to get his post V-Day woohoo, and she's over here trying to gossip with him about all of her family stuff going on. Express joy for life, you know, life's too short and, you know, now that I have diabetes, I'm looking at things a little bit differently. So, you know, I'm thinking about just doing this influencer thing full time. What do you think? He's like, yeah, I think you should go for it. She's like, I'm going to bed now. He's like, wait. He's filling himself. If you've made it this far in the episode, leave a brown heart in the comment section.
Things are moving pretty quickly and there's a lot to take in. I can't believe that mom and Taylor are pregnant at the same time and I still can't believe that Fiona is a mom. Fiona hasn't told anyone the full story, but I guess she'll come around when she's ready. I do think that Ruby should quit her job at this point, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more of the Baldwins, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, we will see you in the next episode. Sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile.